Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be creating a Neve child theme. A child theme is important because it allows you to make customizations to your website without affecting the original theme files. It also ensures that any updates to the parent theme can easily be applied without losing your modifications. So today we'll be working based off of the steps in this documentation. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can follow. The first thing we'll need to do is download the child theme by clicking on this link. All right, so that's fine. And for our demonstration, we'll be installing some code which allows a pages featured image to be displayed. So this is just an example of the sort of customization you may want to make to your theme. I'll go ahead and open this tab which has the documentation with the code that we need. I'll also be leaving a link to this in the description. Now I'll go back to the dashboard and I'll open all pages in a new tab. And we'll just open one of the pages that we'll be using for our demonstration. We'll be setting a featured image for this page, which will not be shown by default. And this is why we'll need to customize our theme. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and I'll go to updates just to show you that we have a pending update for our theme. Before updating it, we'll go ahead and install our code. Let's go to appearance, then theme editor. Now when the page opens, we'll go to functions.php. Now let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. We'll add our code right here. So let's go back to our documentation and I'll just highlight everything and copy. Then we'll go back to the file editor and we'll paste it right here. Let's update our file. So we just made it possible for our pages featured image to be displayed. We can go back to view our page, but we should not have a featured image here as yet. We'll need to actually add one. Let's click on edit page. And over on the right, we'll need to find the featured image section and click on set featured image. We'll choose anyone and click on set featured image. All right, now let's update. Now, if we go back to our page, we should see our featured image. All right, now remember we added this code to the parent theme. Let's see what happens if we go back and we update that theme. Let's go back to our settings. We'll go to themes and we'll update Neve. All right, so once it's updated, we can go back and reload our page. And just like that, our featured image is gone. Also, if we go back to our theme file editor and open our functions.php file, we'll see that the code that we added has been removed. So that's what happens when you modify the code for your parent theme. So what you should do is install a child theme and customize it instead. To install a child theme, go to themes, now you'll need to click on add new, but before I do this, I just want to roll back the version of Neve so that we have an update pending. I'll just click on Neve and I'll click on rollback. And by the way, I'm using the WP rollback plugin. Let's roll it back to version 3.6.0. Now keep in mind that this is just part of my demonstration. You may not have to roll back the version of your plugin. I'm just making sure that we'll have a pending update. All right, so now we can click on add new, upload theme, and I'll just drag the child theme file to this area here and I'll click on install now. Let's activate. Okay, so we have installed our child theme. Now on the left, let's go to our theme file editor. We'll now see a folder called Neve child. So let's go to functions.php. Now let's go ahead and paste the same code on a new line. All right, that's good. Now let's update. Okay, now let's go back to our page. Let's see what happens when we reload. Here's our featured image. And now let's see what happens if we update our theme. Again, we'll go to themes and let's go ahead and update our parent theme. Once it's updated, we can go back and reload our page. So as we can see, our featured image is still present. Let's go back to our theme file editor. We'll go to functions.php. And as we can see, our code was not affected. We can also select Neve. We'll just choose Neve here and click on select. And we'll open the functions.php file for Neve. And we'll also see that our code was not added to this file. So this file is protected while we only modified the one from the child theme. If you want to make advanced changes to your theme, you can follow these instructions from the same documentation. You'll just need a way to access your theme files. I'm using WP File Manager, which you can find in the WordPress repository. So I'm just going to open this and let's go to the WP content folder. And we'll go to themes. Then Neve. 
And all we'll need to do is copy this views folder, then go to Neve Child Master and paste it here. So at this point, you can go ahead and access the folder and you can edit any of its files using the built-in code editor from WP File Manager, or you can simply download one of the files, open it in your favorite code editor, make your edits and re-upload it. All right, so this is how you install and customize your Neve Child theme. Thanks for watching and see you next time.